collaborations are about letting go in some exactly way. Exactly. Like you, you create go. until yeah. mm -hmm. halfway of the mm -hmm. project, right? And then yeah. you, you hand it over to exactly. your partner. Yeah, it's really mm. to let go. To complete it. Yeah, we have to trust each other. My name is Lilibeth Cuenca Rasmussen. I'm a visual artist who works primarily with performance or performative art. I'm based in Copenhagen, Denmark. My name is Sean Puipia. I'm a fashion designer. I have my own label called Sean Puipia, based in Bangkok, Thailand. Three years ago, we got introduced to each other and then there was the pandemic. So we have been waiting for more than three years to actually realize this work. The text is based on this piece called Gynophobia. It actually means the fear of women. And I started to work with this text and I, I sent it to Sean. I was very inspired by like the theme of women and how powerful women are feared. And I wanted to sort of create characters through the costumes of these different aspects of womanhood the mysterious, the powerful, the delicate, uh, the beauty, and translate this through the clothing. We have the opportunity to be in a museum where there is a collection of art already, and like these spaces that I wanted to use, they already have some story, and I hope that the visitors will also contextualize my performance in these rooms. The history of women is entwined with fear. I allow myself to talk from a woman's point of view, which does not mean that I exclude others. The costume work itself, it consists of four layers that are designed to go on top of one another. As the performance goes on, uh, Lilibeth will be uh, taking each layer off, revealing the next one, transitioning from one character into another. Fluid transition is really like this transformation of the different characters in, in the work. And fluidity is a very positive word for me. You're adjustable and you're transformative. I think that's a, it's a positive character. For the first layer, I wanted something that was very bold, very sculptural. I had imagined that once this is taken off, I wanted to show something more, more structured, a piece that has a, a masculine connotation with it. And then the next layer, I wanted to go with something more delicate. So very, very, very light, it moves. And then finally, I wanted to show something that's, that reveals the body. Throughout the three years, like, my ideas change as well. I decided like, to execute it in another technique or um, change the fabric. I've been following the process, but I haven't like, had the opportunity to to wear them and feel the materiality of each layer. It's different once you yeah. really try them on. And yeah, but also for also, you. Also for me, yeah, then yeah, yeah. I, I see different sides of the yeah. costume. We we're working out like mm. how mm. it's going to be worn and how do you take it off? Yeah. How, how do you transition from one yeah. layer the to another? Yeah, the transition is super important in the performance also. And it's very interesting to see how you interpret mm. uh, like the, the, the creations that I mm. made. When we get together and we can use from each other's um, you know, expertise and, and make a third thing happen. Mm. That's what I really appreciate about this collaboration. For me as a fashion designer, I've always been interested in the um, crossroads between fashion and art and how these two disciplines can come together. And this project really embodies that. Commit to nature. Nature is vitamins. I see myself as an artwork that is talking. I always hope that people can mirror themselves in, 
in the words that I'm reciting, in the way that I'm, you know, visually using my body to interact and engage with people. This is what performance is really about. It's this interaction between the viewer and the artwork.